six. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with him for three years after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Gary here knows, knows everything about USC. He's been, been a friend of mine for years, uh, have followed uh, you know, SC football you know, from the, the glory days and then the, the little bumps that we had in the road. Now, you know, they'll hopefully they'll return to play. Yeah. Gary, how do you feel about the possibility of the Rams returning to Los Angeles? I, I, I think it makes too much sense you know, to, to get a team back here. If, you, if you're going to bring anybody back, there, there's so much history here for the Rams. And I, I just thought it fit when they were here and it, it's been wrong since they've been gone mm -hmm. you know in, in st louis I, I just think they they belong back here i'd love to see it happen as someone who grew up with that right and as uh, if the rams coming back uh, to los angeles they would be playing here in the coliseum uh, for a few years until farmers field gets built uh what, what do you have any memories of the rams in the coliseum you know I, I, unfortunately most of my Rams memories are, are down in anaheim uh, I, I, I came to a couple games when I was really younger, but when, when I got exposed to them mostly when I was getting into my teen years and in high school, yeah, they were already down in Anaheim. But you know, this spot would be so appropriate, I think, for them to be because this, yeah, this was the original spot. So that's what I'd love to see happen. And well, you got Pat Hayden, who's the athletic director right now, and John Robinson, who's heavily involved in the program, plus a lot of USC alumni who have played for the Rams. I mean, how, how do you? see that continuity and how that plays out, how we're going to bring the USC fan base to support the Rams. My, 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 my number one favorite memory of working for the Rams was, was the first day of practice when I got to meet Charles White when he was on the team. And as someone who, you know, my SC fandom started with Charles White as the tailback. So to get a chance to walk onto that practice field down at the Rams Park and, and meet Charles White, that, that was an all-time thrill. And so that, that's one of the things that the continuity of, if you see a guy playing in Southern California and he comes to SC and then to see him be playing in the NFL in your hometown, that's just a real special thing if you can do it. Well, the Rams have, have uh, they recently signed Steve Smith uh, mm -hmm. as a receiver, and they also hired Jeff Fisher, uh, who SC fans well know, sure. that went to Taft High School sure. in Woodland Hills, played for USC, they moved on to the Chicago Bears, and then uh, uh, was a defensive coordinator for the Rams for one year, and has always sort of been mentioned in rumors whenever the USC coaching, uh, whenever the USC head coaching spot opens up, they're always talking Jeff Fisher. It's a natural for a USC alum. What do you think it would mean for it to have a USC alumni being the head coach of the Los Angeles Rams coming back here? Fantastic. I think it would be fantastic. Je Jeff Fisher, it, 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 I always think he's, he's a Southern California guy. Absolutely. And even no matter where you, when you see him, wherever he's coaching elsewhere, that's a Southern California guy in Tennessee. That's a Southern California guy in St. Louis. You know, he just fits the persona back here. So if you're going to look at it, I, I think he'd be kind of a perfect fit, either coaching SC or the Rams in Los Angeles. All right. Well, Gary Pasquitz at WeAreSC.com. Thanks for the time, and uh, we look forward to having the Rams here sharing the Coliseum with USC. I look forward to that as well. Thanks. Thanks.